In this video, I will talk about everything you need to know about Weld, how he works, how to build him, who is good with him, and most important, if I think he's worth your ticket. So just before the video starts, don't forget to leave your like and your sub. 98% of you are not subscribed and that would help me a lot. I also recommend you checking my links on the description. I have some of them that can help you, just like my Twitch channel, where I stream a lot and you are able to win free blessings by participating on them. And you 7 buy where you can use my code to have a discount when buying Seller Jades. Now that everything is said, let's now explain Welt Kit. Welt is a 5 star imaginary character that follows the path of Nihility and it's a complete check of all traits for your teams. It can be a DPS, a debuffer or even a semi-sustainer. On his basic attack, Gravity Suppression, Welt deals imaginary damage equal to a percentage of his attack to a single target enemy. When you use his skill, Edge of the Void, Welt deals imaginary damage equal to a percentage of his attack to a single target enemy and to other two random enemies. Not only that, but on hit, there is a base chance of applying a 10% speed reduction debuff for 2 turns. On his ultimate, Synthetic Black Hole, Welt deals imaginary damage equal to a percentage of his attack to all enemies, with an 100% base chance for enemies hit by this to be imprisoned for 1 turn. And imprisoned enemies will have their actions delayed by a percentage and speed reduced by 10%. On his talent, Time Distortion, when hitting an enemy that is already slowed, Welt will deal imaginary additional damage equal to a percentage of his attack to the enemy. And for his technique, Gravitational Imprisonment, Welt creates a special dimension that lasts for 15 seconds. Enemies in this special dimension have their movement speed reduced by 50%. After entering battle with the enemies in this dimension, there is a 100% base chance to imprison the enemies for one turn. And imprisoned enemies will have their actions delayed by 20% and speed reduced by 10%. But keep in mind, only one dimension created by allies can exist at the same time. On his minor traces, Welt will get a total of 28% attack, 14.4% imaginary damage and 10% effect res, which will help increasing his damage and survivability. On his major trace, Retribution, there is a 100% base chance to increase the damage taken by the targets by 12% for 2 turns when Welt uses his ultimate. On his second major trace, Judgment, using ultimate additionally regenerates 10 energy, and for last, on his third major trace, Punishment, Welt deals 20% more damage to enemies inflicted with Weakness Break. And for his trace priorities, you should focus on your skill first, after that your ultimate and talent with similar priorities, and for less your basic attack. For his relics, Welt Best Insult Relic Set will be the 4-piece Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters. Since its 2-piece will increase your damage dealt to enemies with debuffs by 12%, and its 4-piece will give you up to 8% crit rate and 24% crit damage if you are fighting enemies with 3 or more debuffs, you are already applying debuffs to yourself. Another usable option for Welt is 4-piece Wastelander of Mandatory Desert, because it provides 10% imaginary damage with its 2-piece effect, and its 4-piece effect will increase your crit rate by 10% against debuffed enemies and your crit damage by 20% against imprisoned enemies. But we all know the imaginary set is not worth the farm because of the fire set, so another good option for Welt that is way more farm efficient it will be the 4-piece Scholar Lost in Erudition. This set increases your crit rate by 8% on its 2-piece effect and its 4-piece will increase your ult damage by 20% and your skill damage up to 45%. And for last, you can mix and match 2 pieces between the sets that provide crit rate, damage percent, attack percent and speed. For planar ornaments, Wild Best in Slot option will be Rootland Arena since it provides 8% crit rate and if you get 70% crit rate or more on your Wild, your skills and basic attack will deal 20% more damage. Another good option is Inert Salsoto since it also provides you 8% crit rate, but it will increase your ultimate damage by 15% if you reach to at least 50% crit rate on your build. And for last, another good option for Welt, especially if you are going for a debuff build, is Pen Cosmic Commercial Enterprise. Since this set will increase your effective rate by 10% and it will increase your attack by 25% of your effective rate with a max of 25% increase. Now talking about substats. For the chest, crits or effective rate depending on your build. For the boots, speed or attack. For the sphere, imaginary damage or attack. And for the rope, attack. For the substats, you should focus on crits, effective rate, speed and attack. For wild light cones, his best insult will be Acheron's signature along the passing shore. This light cone will increase your crit damage by 36% and will inflict enemies with a debuff that it will make you deal 24% increased damage and 24% more ultimate damage for one turn when hitting them with attacks. Other 5 star options you can use on your wild if you have them on your inventory with no users are incessant rain, Patience is all you need, or even his own signature light con in the name of the world. But keep in mind that some of them might perform worse than some other next light cons I will mention. His best 4 star option will be Goodnight and Sleep Well, 
since it will increase your damage up to 36% depending on the number of debuffs you have on the enemy target. And if you are lucky to get this to S5, you are now going to increase your damage up to 72%, which is massive. Other 4 star options you can use on your wealth are Bondless Choreo if you are needing more crits on your build, and Resolution Shines as Pearl Sweat if you are focusing on building your wealth as a Z-buffer. And for last, his best F2P option will be the MOC Shop Lightcon, it's showtime. Since it will give you 18% damage increase depending on the number of debuffs you inflict on an enemy, and it will also increase your attack by 20% if your effect hit rate is equal or higher to 80%. For wild teams, it will be a super universal in terms of uses, since it can be used as a DPS, semi sustainer, or debuffer. So here are some options. For an hyper carry team, pair him with Sunday or Sparkle, Runmay, Robin or Silver Wolf, and Aventurine. For an Akron team, pair him with Akron, Robin or Sparkle, and Zhao Shou. And for a super break team, pair him with Harmony MC or Fugyu, Run Mei, and Gallagher. Like I said before, Walt is a complete jack of all trades since he will fit almost any role. So if you have any team you really like to use him and did not appear here, as well as some doubts on what characters to use instead of the ones I mentioned, feel free to leave it on the comments. Now, I will leave you a showcase of my hyper carry Walt team on memory of Chun 6. Enemy ahead. Feeling lucky. Go harm and try. Feeling lucky. Let's begin. I hit the mark. Uh -huh. Can you find the answer? You will not survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's play for a while. You want a sticky? Hedge your bets. Spend freely. I hope for an end to strife in the world. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. How does that feel? I'll go easy. Watch your head. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. So, what's your opinion about Walt? Do you think you need to get him on your account? In my opinion, he's a decent character, but even though he's my favorite character, I need to be real and admit that even though he's universal, he doesn't stand out in any of his roles. But, if you are willing to give him a try, he will still be usable. I hope with this video, you are not able to understand how he works and how you should build him. Share this video with others that are still thinking about picking him or not. If you like this guide, don't forget to leave your like and your sub. 98% of you are not subscribed and that would help me a lot. A special thanks to my members for trying to support me, and thank you so much for keeping me company. See you on the next video or live stream on Twitch, where you can win some free blessings. Stay safe everyone, have an amazing day, and good luck on your pools.